Do you enjoy our YouTube content? Do you wish there was more? Well, now there is. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. There you will find, just starting at $5 a month, more access to podcasts, to shows, to other saves. Check it out today, everybody. That's patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this day in wrestling history. Today is August 1st, so we are going to be covering August 1st, 1980. Let's take a look around the wrestling world. In Championship Wrestling from Florida, they ran Forest High School in Ocala, Florida. Mr. Florida faced Nikolai Volkov. Mike Graham faced Dick Slater. Bobby Jaggers and the Super Destroyer faced Jack and Jerry Briscoe. Bugsy McGraw faced Florida heavyweight champion Don Morocco. Let's take a little bit of a look at that card, and I'm not sure who Mr. Florida was. Um, I think that was Paul Orndorff. I think Paul Orndorff wrestled as Mr. Florida. And in this case, there were many incarnations of the Super Destroyer, but I think the Super Destroyer in this case was... Uh, Ooh, who was that guy that wrestled in Texas? He passed away at a very young age. Um, Bill Irwin's brother, Scott Irwin. Yeah, the Super Destroyer in this case uh, was probably Scott Irwin. He worked that gimmick for a while. All right, let's take a look at Jim Crockett Promotions. Jim Crockett Promotions ran two shows that night, and the first show that they ran was out of the Richmond Coliseum in Richmond, Virginia, and Billy Starr defeated Abe Jacobs, and then you had David Patterson and Ben Alexander faced Nick DiCarlo and Coco Samoa, Jim Nelson, who later became Boris Zhukov, and he was also private Jim Nelson, along with uh, Don Kernodal and that, and that Sergeant Slaughter stable he had going for a little while there. And, of course, uh, Jim Nelson, in this case, faced Don Kernodal, so that was must, when there must have been a falling out. And Johnny Weaver and Jim Brunzel faced Dewey Robertson and Gene Lewis. And Dewey Robertson, of course, was the missing link. Bobby Duncombe defeated Special Delivery Jones. I didn't even know Special Delivery Jones was in the Mid-Atlantic area at this time, but he was. Blackjack Mulligan defeated Enforcer Luciano in a Texas street fight. And there is nothing like a Texas street fight in Virginia. And in the main event, Ray Stevens and Jimmy Snuka defeated Ricky Steamboat and Jay Youngblood. Now, without looking it up, I believe Jay Youngblood and uh, Ricky Steamboat had lost the world tag team title at this point. And of course, folks, a lot of people don't realize this. The NWA still had several incarnations of the world tag team title at this point. And the Mid-Atlantic World Tag Team title was just one of those incarnations. Several other MNWA territories had their own incarnations of the World Tag Team title. Now, that's not all for Jim Cracker Promotions. Jim Cracker Promotions also ran the same night in Charleston, South Carolina at the County Hall. Jim Brunzel subbed for Ric Flair and tagged with Sweet Ebony Diamond also known as, can you guess it, Rocky Johnson. And they beat Mass Superstar and Greg Valentine in an elimination match. Matt Bourne and Buzz Sawyer, ooh, I would not have wanted to mess with those two, uh, beat Bill Calgary and Frankie Lane. Frankie Lane, of course, was a journeyman wrestler that made his way all around the country. I'm not too sure about Bill Calgary. Steve Muslin beat Brett Wayne who I believe was also known as Johnny Rich, but I could be wrong on that one. Uh, I'm not sure about Brett Wayne. And Brett Wayne subbed in for Sweet Hansen, who was still active in the area. And then Ricky Ferrara beat Ron Ritchie. So there you have it, folks. That is August 1st, 1980, 42 years ago today. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next time. Did you know that you could advertise on this channel? 
Well, you can. Call 815-290-9087 and talk to me today about advertising on our channel. We get over 3,500 hits. We also have a thriving website. We can come up with all sorts of packages for you and make things happen together. Again, that's 815-290-9087 or visit braddrake.net. 